As the lead singer of the left-field Britpop band Cooler Shaker, Crispy and Mills has enjoyed huge success. The band's album K became the fastest-selling debut album since Oasis is definitely maybe. In contrast to other artists of the time, Cooler Shaker's music was profoundly influenced by spirituality and Eastern beliefs. The idea that God exists is not a problem. I think the main thing that really stands out today is that there's an absence of God being understood as a person. If God exists, then who am I? If God is all these things, then you know, what does that make me and what is my relationship? with him. All I ever wanted to do was to be in a band. I didn't want to be a singer. I didn't, um, I didn't want to write songs. All I wanted to do was be the guitarist in a band. Cooler Shaker were heavily influenced by the 1960s psychedelic music scene. In 1996, they paid homage to the late rock hero Jerry Garcia in their single Grateful When You're Dead. We were all listening to 60s psychedelic garage music, like 13 Four Elevators and Seeds and whatever, stuff like that. Some of it was really bad, and some of it was really, really whacked out and, and imaginative. Spiritual freedom and creativity of the 1960s inspired Cooler Shaker to take a more meaningful path. The moments where you felt like you had, you'd done something creative that was difficult to do, that you really had expressed what you were about, expressed the things that inspired you, and made a kind of a, some kind of a, like a, like a statement, you know, a mission statement for yourself. And, and that felt really good. After a six year separation, Cooler Shaker have reunited and are in the process of recording their long awaited third album. The lineup has changed with Henry Broadbent replacing Jay Darlington on keyboards. It was the death of a close friend that inspired Crispian to write Out on the Highway. I have a close family friend, uh, Anna Birkin, who uh, died uh, in a car crash. He was a musician, he was also a very talented writer. He died when he was um, he's still only 20 years old. It's a strange thing that when he died so young, it really uh, it kind of brought out who he, who he was. It, it highlighted a lot about his character and about his writing. There was a lot of tragedy in his words. He's a very lovely, sweet and lovely guy, definitely. Real poet, proper teenage poet.
I think that the real, the great joy of being in a band is that formative time when you're really creating and no one's watching you. And it's kind of where I'm at now as well. No one's really watching us, so we are just doing our own thing and it's really very uh, fulfilling and exciting. Reach out and lie, reach out.